Welcome to CFI's Reading Financial Statements course. Reading financial statements is vital for all financial analysts because if you can't read financial statements, you can't interpret a business, you can't understand where the business is going, you can't assess financial results, or even value the business. Hi, I'm Scott Powell, and I'm going to take you through this course. And during this course, we're going to discuss the key elements of a company's annual report and review key line items or accounts that you'll see in a company's set of financial statements. Now, we do this by going through a real company's annual report, including the notes to the financial statements, as well as other important parts all to help you become a world-class financial analyst. This course does assume that you have a general understanding of the basic components that make up the three key financial statements. We cover these in our Accounting Fundamentals course, which we do recommend you take before undertaking this course. So, let's get started. By the end of this course on reading financial statements, you'll be able to outline the contents of an annual report. You'll also be able to explain a company's operations and business strategy. Further, you're going to be able to identify the many risk factors a company must navigate. We then move on to analyzing a company's set of financial statements, and we'll do that together, as well as analyzing different business segments. We'll then move on to exploring the MDNA section or management discussion and analysis section so that you feel comfortable that you can read it and fully comprehend that section. And finally, we'll dip into the notes of the financial statements where you can get additional details. So let's get started. Let's start high level by looking at some of the benefits of an annual report. Now, publicly traded companies and many other organizations typically publish an annual report after the end of their fiscal year. And that annual report contains a huge amount of significant financial and non-financial information. We'll find financial information in the Management Discussion and Analysis section, or MDNA. But we also will look at the three financial statements and we'll use the notes to the financial statements if we're looking for financial information. But we can also use the annual report to gain operational understanding and insights into a company. And we can get that operational insight by reading the message from the chair, a message from the CEO, the corporate profile, the MDNA, and risk and control processes within the company. Within that same annual report, we typically will also gain some insight into a company's strategic directions. We will see things like its growth and investment plans, its cost-cutting initiatives, its human capital strategy, or even its outlook towards M&A or acquisitions. Now, the layout of an annual report typically follows what you're about to see here. And again, it's a treasure trove of information. So typically, we'll start with a letter to the shareholders, and that will be followed by a business description. And that's a very powerful section to read. If you don't really understand the nature of the business, this is where that will be described. This is then followed by a lengthy, typically, management discussion and analysis filled with tons of information in terms of operational insights, as we've said, financial insights, and even some strategic insights about where the business is going. This is then followed by a report on internal controls, where we get an insight into the risks the business faces and how it manages those risks. Next, we get the audit report. And it's important that that's there, uh, testifying to the fact that the financial statements have been audited by a reputable firm. That then leads us to the financial statements, the big three, the balance sheet, the income statement, and the statement of cash flows. And if we want more detail into those financial statements, we then dig into the notes to the financial statements. And that can be quite a lengthy section as well of the annual report. We typically will see near the end of the annual report, some earnings per share data, as well as a listing of directors of the company. You're probably wondering why I'm showing you Starbucks website. It's not to order a drink. We're actually going to read and analyze Starbucks financial statements. And so I want to show you how to access those financial statements. Now we're looking at a U.S. company and publicly traded companies in the U.S. are regulated by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. And the U.S. SEC has a prescribed format for annual reports. And that prescribed format is something called a 10K. There's also a prescribed format for quarterly reports, and that's called a 10Q. 
Okay, so let's, I'll show you two ways to find it. The first way is go to the website and we want to scroll down and we want to find something like investor relations. So I'm just, it's often around something like about us, you can see investor relations. So we'll click on that. You feel free to join me if you'd like. So you're finding the same information. The only thing that will be different is when you take this course. I'm recording this course in May of 2024. So if you're watching this in 2025, you may see a few different things. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down. I'm trying to find results information. I see the ticker. That's the stock ticker of SBUX. And here we go. So most recent results, Q2 fiscal 2024. You're probably thinking, well, May is in Q2. But what you might not know is that Starbucks year end is October 1st, 2023. That's the latest. Uh, year end. So that's why they've already talked about a couple quarters here, but I'm going to go to more. You can see the form 10 Q that we talked about, but I'm going to go more and I'm actually going to go to, you can see 10 Q to get an annual report. I need to go back to 2023 and you can see, I can download that as a PDF. So we can also click on SCC filings. And one of the things I'm hoping you see is sometimes you'll be able to get different formats. And I always like to also download the Excel format, which is going to help me, I hope, save time in entering Starbucks financial information into Excel. So again, we need to go to 2023. I'm going to go to annual filings. There we have the 10K. And again, we can do a PDF, but we can also download this as an Excel file. So I encourage you to do both. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the same information off a system of the SECs called Edgar. See you in the next lesson. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another way to get those 10 Ks or annual reports for US publicly traded companies. You can see in the bar here, I have SEC.gov, Edgar, which is the name of the the tool where you can find the 10 Ks and then search and access just to let you know what I searched for. If you come here, you're going to see I typed in into Google, just SEC and Edgar and the Edgar filings. I'm going to click on search and access. There's now a full text search tool. I'm just going to use that. And then it says search by keyword, ticker company name, CIK number. Um, I'm just going to do SBUX. Great. There's that CIK number 829224. Great. Now we have, uh, we can actually refine our search in a bit more detail. So what we can do, for example, is we can actually say all annual, quarterly and current reports. We're going to scroll down. And what we're looking for is a 10K. And here we have a 10K. That's just, we missed it. It was, I'll scroll up to the top. But what's filed on the first date, which was November, I'll scroll up again. The 10K was filed on November 17th, and it's for the year ending October 1st, 2023. And then I can just click on it. And it says I can open filing, I can open the document, but this is just another way to access this information. Okay, now make sure you have the downloaded PDF, and we're going to look at what's included in a 10K in the next lesson.